Wax on, right hand. Wax off, left hand. Wax on, wax off. Breathe in through nose, out the mouth. Who doesn't like The Karate Kid? It's easily one of the most well-known movies of all time. Like the film Rocky, The Karate Kid tells a similar story about an underdog who rises up to beat the odds. It's funny to mention Rocky because both Rocky and The Karate Kid were directed by the same guy, John Avildsen. But anyways, simply put, The Karate Kid is a great movie. So great that it spawned three sequels. Well, two at least. I don't count the next Karate Kid as a sequel because the film, well, is ass. But more importantly, you can't have a sequel without Ralph Macchio. Which is why they couldn't call it The Karate Kid Part 4. But anyways, the Karate Kid movies are all good in their own way. But you know what really makes these movies great? Or should I say, who makes them great? No, not Ralph Macchio. This guy right here, Mr. Miyagi. This guy made these movies what they are. Played by the recently deceased Pat Morita, Mr. Miyagi is the one character that comes to mind when people think of the Karate Kid. And for good reason. Mr. Miyagi kicks ass. He's wise, funny, and can beat the shit out of anyone. He's a character you simply have to love. And so as a tribute to Mr. Miyagi and Pat Morita, I give you my top 10 Miyagi moments. Okay, number 10. Daniel meets the maintenance man, also known as Mr. Miyagi. I guess it's appropriate that this scene would be the first I mentioned, because it's here that we are introduced to Mr. Miyagi for the first time. Get with the new people in apartment 20. The lesson to be learned from this scene, of course, is knock, yeah, don't enter. Check out the look on his face. Holy shit. And of course, let's not forget those two famous words. When are you going to fix the faucet? After. After what? After, after. Hey, Sato's in there! <laughs> Number 9, Sato's Rescue. In this scene from Karate Kid Part 2, Daniel and Mr. Miyagi attempt to rescue Miyagi's friend Sato, who's just had a house collapse on him in the midst of a hurricane. What we learn here about Mr. Miyagi is not only is he a karate expert, but he's also one hell of a carpenter. Damn, who needs a saw? Daniel-san! Daniel-san! What? Come here. Number 8. There's no way I could leave this one out. For all first-time viewers, this was the real eye-opener of the first Karate Kid. It's at this moment that the curtains are lifted and we find out what paint the fence, sand the floor, and wax on, wax off really mean. Show me wax on, wax off. But let's not forget about eye contact. Look eye. Always look eye. Look my eye. Man, look eye. Always look eye. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> Number seven. What do you get when you hurt Daniel and break a bunch of shit? One very pissed off Miyagi. In this scene from Karate Kid Part 2, Mr. Miyagi saves Daniel and proceeds to beat the piss out of Chosen and his Okinawan thugs. It's interesting to note that this is the only time out of all the Karate Kid movies that Mr. Miyagi gets hit. But of course, he makes them pay. Fuck yeah. All Chosen really had to do was call Yuki a whore, and Miyagi probably would have ran that spear right through his neck. Darn. Maybe in the director's cut. Act of coward! Alright, number six. Mr. Miyagi and Daniel leaving the beach. This has to be one of my all-time favorite parts of the first Karate Kid. In one brief moment, we learn two valuable lessons. One, don't ever use Mr. Miyagi's truck as a coaster. And two, Miyagi makes one hell of a bottle opener. Holy fuck. How did you do that? How did you do that? Don't know. Last time. 